Hello, today I'm going to show you how to import your footage to Premiere Pro, like how to set the sequence settings and and sync sound with the clapper, and also export it out really well. Here it is. I'm going to do ones I didn't do. You want to convert the footage, and you convert the footage by um, using MPEG Stream Clip right here. List batch list. Yeah, drag it in here. Join all files. You don't want that. I mean, that means it'll join in left in presets. Yes, these are already coded. These are the settings for um, for compressing your footage to edit. And a lot of people recommend Apple ProRes or Apple ProRes ProRes LT. And just use these settings. 1920. Just uh, uncheck these. That's practically it. And make sure the quality is 100 percent. You press to batch. You press go by read adapt. And now let's quit this out. Go to Premiere Pro and see what we're dealing with here. It's gonna be really easy for you if you have CS4 or CS5 or above, because there we have a DSLR preset for you. I think for exporting and importing. That'd be great. I had that, but this is how you do it without that. Alright. Loading. Yeah, I have separate sound right here. So, let's wait for this to start out. Let's make a new project. Um, April 29th. It needs April 29th. Thanks. You can desktop, twin, and this is for DSLRs. It may depend on your camera what frame rate you have. 23.976, about 24 um, frames per second. 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9. As a pixel aspect ratio. Uh, 1.0 because square pixels it records in fields you don't want any time code 24 because it's almost 24 sample rate really depends because your camera might record it's different sample rate but my, um, on your my other uh, audio source records in um, 48 yeah because they said 48 Maximum render quality for previews. And yeah, that's how you do it. I think you make it as a preset too. I forgot to show you that, but you just save it as a preset, then you'll be fine. Alright, import documentary and then convert it and sound. Right. Let's start off with one that's interesting to me. No, not this one, this one. Okay. George, take note. Maybe slower in here because I'm doing screen recording, but this is what it looks like without its color without its uh, color corrected. Is this the Technicolor picture style with the DSLR in the restaurant? Recording interview here, then you just drag it here. Make sure you have your sound here if you have a separate audio source. Um, 
have to figure out which one is and how much meds is it. Um, Seven, three, six, two. Five minutes, forty six seconds. Should be about six minutes. Should be about six minutes. Yeah, that's not that. No, not that. Um, this one. George, take one. Right. There it is. Drag this here. It's dragging the audio timeline. Show this is the correct way to do it because I watched our tutorial. That's why I compress learning three things together at once because it's really annoying to look up some free videos for stuff. Show audio time units and show the info here. And this is the clap topper right here. Make sure it is. You go over here. Disable this as a clapper. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a clapper. Let's just say that's a clapper. Alright? And this audio here so you can hear it. Okay. There it is. There. Then you zoom in. It's a clapper right here. Better stop here. Decrease this. Go over here. More. Until I can do it. Until you can sync it together. And let's see here. Be close as you can. And keep zooming in. Took me a while to figure out. There it is pretty close enough as it needed to be. Just sync it together here. This. That's about right. I think a little bit more to it right now. Squeeze them in a little bit more so we can. Have closer sinking. Oh, wait, it's way off actually. A little bit left now. There it is, that looks about good. There. And that's synced. And you extend this. Then you reduce this because usually the separate audio recording is more than the source footage from the camera. And you unlink this here because they're linked together, so when you move the video, it moves with the audio. And link it. It's like the audio, delete this, link this. And now it's linked together, it's like your camera on you now. It's linked together. Then for exporting, file, export, media. These are my settings video, NTC, 1920, 1080, 23.976, square pixels, high profile, 4.2 for level, BBR pass 2 for better quality. Just raise up the bit rate as much as you can. Audio, doesn't really matter if you have AAC. Stereo, for stereo mics and stuff. Frequency, high quality, obviously. Bit rate, the one I recorded has 24. So, yeah. Alrighty.
and he wants to select all of it, the whole thing. Here's a few minutes, 10 seconds. And desktop, what do you want to call it? George. Uh, this is Warren. George Warren. Okay. It's exporting. And the system is lower, so I can't really see. I can't really see in the sync, you know? And I can't render out because then had a certain effect or something. It just didn't really work out. But I think it's synced because I, because I heard it before. Okay, start, start in queue, and you're done. And I'll go back to come back to you later on after this. George, take one. Okay. This is where you get a big stream clip squared5.com just go to this link then you go Mac or Windows at Mac then you can download the beta one that that works with YouTube and Mountain Lion and this one that is probably the older one yeah go here then you find tutorials on YouTube how to use them how to use this program if you didn't get the full instructions and it really depends on what your camera um, format records in and what settings it uses how it records I demonstrated um, DSLR footage so yeah please don't um, please don't follow my directions if you have a different camera these may not work okay thank you